since my last vlog so for today i will be sharing with you a get ready with me video including my morning skincare routine and my everyday makeup routine so i will just quickly get changed and then we can start the vlog so first let's start with skincare so after i wash my face using my causer x low ph gel cleanser i like to quickly follow up with my snail true sicker repair serum from some by me so, I super love this product. I've been using it for almost a month now. And super gusto ko effect niya sa face ko. Um, as a lot of you know, my skin is very sensitive. So, sa product na to, hindi ako nag-break out at all. It's very moisturizing. It's very fast absorbing. Yun yung super gusto ko din sa product na to. Some days na hindi ako tinatamad mag skincare sa morning. I also like to use this Roto Milano Vitamin C Lotion that I got from Japan. Um, it's a really good brightening product, although every other two days ko lang siya ina apply because it's a bit sticky. So, measure rich yung uh, formula niya. It's not that runny, so parang hindi siya toner, more of like an essence siguro siya. And then for my eye product in the morning, I use this. Royal Honey Essential Wrinkle Corrector from Skin Food. I've been using this for two weeks already because na ubus na yung mesha na eye cream ko. So after my skincare, I'd like to quickly follow up with my Snail White Sunscreen. Um, it's actually a CC cream na meron siyang SPF 50. So guys, don't ever neglect putting sunscreen kasi sobrang nakakatulong to sa anti-aging. It helps your skin be protected from harmful UV rays. But every time I go out, I make sure na nag ng sunscreen. So, okay. So after sunscreen, um, I use my super duper holy grail foundation which is the Shiseido Self Sy Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. So it also has SPF 35 so at least after ko mag sunscreen meron ding SPF yung foundation na ginagamit ko. And I'm in the shade 140 Porcelain. So cute din yung bottle niya. It's very it looks very luxurious. This is kind of pricey although naglalast naman siya I don't know, maybe more than a year. Kasi konting product mo naman yung kailangan mong ilagay. So, ganito siya guys. What I like about this foundation is it feels like skin. So, hindi mo mafe-feel yung weight ng foundation on your skin. Unlike other foundations that get that tend to get really heavy. Tapos, uh, throughout the day, nagkikake siya. This one has a really good formulation. And okay din yung coverage niya. Because you don't have to reapply in the middle of the day. Unlike some people na gumagamit ng sponge or like ng brush, I just like to use my fingers. So, since everyday makeup routine lang naman to, enough na yung one layer foundation. But, nagda double layer ako sa under eyes ko. Yes, ewan ko, hindi ako nagka concealer sa under eyes. So, yung foundation lang nalagay ko. So after applying foundation, um, I like to use my Studio Mac Fix powder. I'm in the shade NC25, and I just use a powder brush to apply it on my face. And I also got this powder from my best friend Clark. So I'll link ko below yung um, channel niya. She recently started vlogging already. She already has two vlogs about skincare. So, I'll link ko sa baba. Sa description box. So, you just get a good amount of product and then spread it evenly. So, so after you apply your powder. Sorry guys, I'm bother ko sa bangs ko. Wala kasi yung rollers ngayon. So, after I apply powder, 
um, I like to put my blush on. So for today's blush, I'll be using this Nature Republic um, flower blusher in the shade Poppy Red. Kailangan mo lang talaga i-control yung product na nilalagay mo. So, yeah. It looks, it looks like that. But I also have another favorite blush, which is the BLK Intense Color Powder Blush in the shade Pinch. Guys, super tagal na nito sa akin. Like, more than a year na. And hindi pa rin ako nag hip pad. So, sobrang um, pigmented kasi ng blush na to that you don't have to reapply in the middle of the day and you don't even have to apply a second layer kasi isang layer pa lang, super enough na siya. But today, I will use my Nature Republic blusher. So, I just like to use my retractable brush. Mas convenient kasi sa akin to yung may cover. I got this from Watson's. Kuha lang ng konting product. And then apply it on the on the apples of your cheeks. So this color gives you a very natural flush. It just feels like um, yung blush mo is galing from within actually. Maganda yung pagka ng color niya. So there, we already have our blush. Actually, yung application ng blush, it actually depends on your face shape. Pero ako gusto gusto ko siya nilalagay sa apples and cheeks ko because it looks more natural. I don't really put sub bridge on nose, unlike other people. Hindi lang ako super fan. So after I apply my blush, um, what I like to do is mag apply ng brow product. So right now I don't have my rollers for my bangs, so yeah, how we gonna yung bangs ko. And then for my brows, I use this designing eyebrow pencil from the face shop. So it's actually a retractable eyebrow pencil with a spoolie on the other end. So yung brows ko, hindi naman siya totally na walang hair or hindi siya kailangan na sobra ka palang brow product. So, I just like to fill in the areas na kulang sa hair or very sparse areas. I don't really get my um, brows threaded or waxed or And for my brows, I like to do the straight brows. Kasi parang for me, um, mas nakakabata yung straight na shape ng brows than the arched one. So, I also have a brow chiro which is the Sunny's Life Brow in Ash Brown. Pero super rare ko lang gamitin to. Like, ginagamit ko lang siya sa days na like, alam kong magbibili daw sa araw. Like, um, for example, pupunta ako ng site, tapos pagpapawisan ako. Because this product helps in, um, helps in making the brow product stay on your brows for a longer period of time. And then after that, I'd like to apply concealer on the areas that need um, a bit more coverage. So, I have a few pimple marks right now. Hindi super kita though sa camera, but there are some acne scars. So I have this uh, concealer, which is the Sem Concealer in the shade 01. Actually, I've already purchased um, a lot of times because it's super good in coverage and concealer. Ito. And at the same time, it's very affordable. So, idag mo lang sa mga areas with marks. And of course, don't forget to apply concealer on the areas of your face na mayroong redness, such as uh, the corners of your mouth and corners ng nose mo. So after I apply my concealer in the areas um, na mayroon akong scars, um, I actually just put powder again 
But then again, for this video, um, gusto ko mag-apply ng product sa eyes. Ngayon ko lang naisip, no? I don't usually put uh, eyeshadow on my eyes. Pero some of you have already seen um, a few of my looks na nag apply ako ng medyo peachy shade sa eyes ko. And what I use for that is this uh, 3CE Style Nanda Lip Velvet Cream in the shade Daffodil. So this one is actually a lip product. Pero for me, para siyang multi-stick because you can also use it as blush. So ganito siya guys. I don't see. It's a really pretty color. Maganda siya sa lips, but then I like it um, more pag ina-apply ko siya sa eyelids ko. So, and yung finish nito, it's velvet, but then um, after mo siya spread, para siya nata transform into powder. So, it's really good. It has a really good formula. And then usually I put, um, no, sorry, I use my lash curler from Shuemura. Pero recently nagpa-perm ako ng lashes, like um, almost a month ago. So, matagal ko na siyang hindi ginagamit. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is, I'm gonna use this skinny eyeliner from Peri Pera. Nilagay ko yung eyeliner dun sa waterline, sa upper waterline na eyes ko. So, para lang mag-create ng more depth. This is actually in the shade Milky Brown. I also got this from Korea. So, after I apply my eyeliner, um, I like to put this Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. It's not super waterproof, but then it gives you um, parang a more natural volume ng lashes. So, parang dumadami yung lash hair mo pag ginagamit to. And it's really affordable as well. Sa Watsons lang meron nito. And sobrang accessible niya. Ang pangit na ng pagka-perm ng lashes ko. Parang it's all over the place. And then after this, so mag apply na ulit ako ng powder. Again, I'm using my brush. Um, this brush is from the Face Shop. Also, this powder goes well with the Shiseido foundation kasi hindi nagkikake yung face ko. Unless super like, the dry yung face ko, nagkikake talaga siya pag ganun. That's why you have to have a really good base for makeup. Okay. There. So after I apply powder, um, I like to apply a contour powder on my nose. So this one is also from Nature Republic. It's the Flower Contouring in the shade Cinnamon Mocha. So ito hindi siya sobrang dark. Very very light lang siya. Halos hindi niya makita sa video actually. So. So for the nose, just put it on the sides of your nose. So it drag mo siya from your brow area all the way to the tip of your nose. But you have to make sure that you don't put too much product or else magmuwa ang clownses. So you have to control the amount of product that you apply. So I guess enough na yung contour na inapply ko sa nose ko. After this, I like to apply a highlighter and I love using this Master Chrome by Face Studio from Maybelline. So hindi ko na alam kung ano shade to. This one comes in two shades and ito rin sobrang tagal na sa akin ito. like more than a year na hindi pa rin ako nag-hit time. It's actually parang bago pa siya guys. This one I think the other shade is more on the pink side. So it's very pigmented. 
And what I like about this um what I like about this highlighter is that hindi buo buo yung glitters niya. So parang um very natural lang yung shimmer niya. So I just like to apply with my ring finger also. Hindi talaga ako nagbo-brush nagbo guys kasi hindi naman ako like super hilig mag makeup. So apply ka lang dito sa high points of your face. I love this makeup look because it's very Korean. Um, it looks very natural and nakakabata yung makeup look na ganito. And then you also apply on the tip of your nose. So aside from the sa contour na nilagay mo sa nose mo, applying highlighter on the tip of your nose also helps define your nose. So yeah. And then pag may excess product, I just like put it here on my chin area. Okay, so let's jump to the lip products. So recently, I've been really obsessed with lip liners because I love overlining my lips since I really have thin lips. So nakaka help siyang edify new shape ng lips mo. So here I have two lip liners. This one is the NARS lip liner. It's the Mar NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I don't know the shade because the number lang nakalagay dito. This one was recommended by my friend Brian. Uh, ilalagay ko sa description box yung shade. And then here we also have the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Rose. So actually, na swatch ko na siya kasi nag, um, nag film na ako kanina, but then hindi siya na save. I don't know why. Na full atay storage ko or something. So here, this one is the NARS uh, lip liner, and this one is the Revlon Color Stay. So for this look, I will be using the Revlon Color Stay since. This one is uh, our makeup routine for today is more on the natural look. Very yung NARS lip liner na yun, it's super good. Like the texture is really nice. Since nung binili ko siya sa Japan, I used it the entire trip. As in every day ko siya gamit. Because it's really good on the lips. Hindi nagbo dry yung lips ko dun. And this one, um, this Revlon lip liner, I also got this from Japan. Pero repurchase na to kasi medyo madali siya maubos since there's only a little amount of product. So, ito na bilik na siya sa Watsons for, I'm not sure, I think it's 395 pesos here. So, let's apply. Also, since I'm applying a matte lip liner, uh, before I start sa video na to, nag apply ako na lip balm, which is this uh, Blistex medicated lip balm, which I got from Clara. Shout out. Shay supplier ko nito kasi I think na kuha pa nila to sa Canada. Super ganda nito sa lips, guys. So after that, after the lip liner, I like to use my Roman Juicy Lasting Tint in the shade Fig Fig. Guys, super ganda nito. Repurchase na rin to because it's super duper nice on the lips. It's an MLBB shade this one, yung Fig Fig. So here. Okay. So yung lip tint na to, yung formula niya, is not the usual watery tint. It's actually a bit creamy. Meron siyang konting gloss, but then yung gloss niya, hindi siya yung super overpowering na, ooh, sobrang popping ng gloss mo, ganun. Like, hindi siya ganun. It's very moisturizing on the lips. And guys, pag in-apply to sa lips, sobrang ganda talaga, yung super natural. Especially in the middle of the day, pag medyo nag-set na yung color sa lips mo, it actually looks like your natural lip color. And actually, mas fan ako ng lip products na medyo see-through. Like, I'm not a fan of those heavy lipsticks. Siguro, it's just not for me. Mas gusto ko yung mga lip tints lang or like, um, mga lip gloss, tinted lip gloss. So, yeah. Pero may mga times na gusto ko maging sobra mas extra or like meron ng events or occasions na pupuntahan. I also love using this lip gloss from Happy Skin. I think this is in the shade Missy. I think collab to with Heart. Yung gusto ko sa lip gloss na to, aside from its really really nice color, ganito siya. Medyo dark siya ng konti. It smells really really good kasi meron siyang peppermint extract so yung feeling niya sa lips din is minty 
So that's it for my um, morning skincare routine and everyday makeup routine video. So a few days after I upload this post, um, I'm going to share another vlog with you guys, which is my updated nighttime skincare routine video. I know I uploaded um, a nighttime skincare routine a few years back, pero ngayon meron na ako mga products na hindi ginagamit like before or meron ako mga new products na incorporate sa skincare ko. So I'm going to share that with you guys. So I hope you guys like this video and if there are any comments or suggestions, you can comment down below. For the products that I used, I'm going to um, put them on the description box. So thank you guys!